Before moving on to the timing diagram, let's find the, <clears throat> sorry, draw the block diagram for this code. Okay. In this code, we have two main blocks that these two blocks are creating our whole module, right? So what I just said, I said we have one whole module, one big module, and then in my module, I have two different blocks. One of them is the sequential block. One of them is the synchron um, combinational block. So that is my whole module. The name of the module is problem four. Right? Now, the inputs of my whole module are clock, reset, and A. As you can see here, clock, reset, and A. So we have A. How many bits do I have? I have three bits. Now, this is wrong to put A out here because in the block diagram, we have to write the name inside. Then we have one bit reset. And then we have one bit clock that we normally show it like this. We know that this is always the combinational block and this is the sequential block. So you have to show that. You have to um, define them, define the name of each block. In your combinational block, which is your first block, first let's look at the actually um, sequential block because sequential block is the easy one. So in the sequential block, it says that at the positive edge of the clock, next B will go to A, right? First thing is that the clock over here, right? Next B, which is the B that we have as the output, so this is B, will go to A. So this was the feedback that we had and you had to show this. This is for the sequential. Now for the combinational, it says that next B is equal to A. So A is the input, next B is the output right? This arrow over here is my next B. Okay. And then another thing that is triggering the combination of block is the reset button. So the reset button is also a, an input to the combination of block. So this is the whole diagram for this code. Okay. Now for the, sorry, block diagram. Now for the timing diagram, you have everything for A, you have a reset, and you have positive edges of the clock. We know that this is a positive edge triggered circuit, right? So what we care about are these positive edges of the clock. So at each positive edge of the clock, I have to see what is happening in my code and what do I have and what will be my output because we have to complete this timing diagram Therefore, I have to <clears throat> find what is next B, okay? All right, so let's see here. At the pos first positive edge of the clock, so we are here. Reset is equal to 1. Go up to the code. If reset is 1, next B is equal to 6. So no matter what I have in A, next B whatever value that it had, which we don't have that value, right? It is not defined here. Whatever value that we have after the positive edge of the clock, that will become six. Now the reset is zero over here, but we know that until the next positive edge of the clock, nothing will happen. Now, the second positive edge of the clock. In the second positive edge of the clock, you see that reset is zero. So since reset is zero, whatever that is on A will go to next B. So this is next B. Whatever that is on A, go to next B. So at the positive edge of the clock, what is the number that we have in A? It's four. Therefore, my next B will become four until the next 
positive edge of the clock again at the next positive edge of the clock since the reset is zero i will just look at a so a is one at this positive edge so i'm going to go over here like that until the next positive edge of the clock again reset is zero so we just need to look at a a is five at that moment five so six four one five now here again at the positive edge of the clock reset is zero a is zero so zero will be on next b over here a is three reset is zero now over here <clears throat> at this positive edge of the clock you see that the reset is one so no matter what you have on a next b should be equal to six so next b will become six now at this positive edge of the clock reset is zero right at that moment reset is zero and a is equal to six so my output will remain six the next b will remain six because this is the six that we have so this is the three this is this zero the five one four and that six is for the reset equal to one okay all right so i'm going to stop this video here so